Okay, so I realized that I did a review on this knife like two years ago or something like that before I really had a whole lot of experience with it. So I just decided to do, that I'm going to do another quick little review of it. So I got rid of that old video. Um, this knife is the Case Mini Blackhorn, I believe is what it's called. It's a miniature, tiny little um, lockback knife. The blade is, uh, I would say, under two inches, maybe just at two inches. Um, but yeah, it's a miniature lockback knife. The handles are plastic. I'm sure they'd use some sort of fancy word like reinforced nylon or something, but they are plastic. Um, it's pinned together. Uh, it's got a pinned construction. The handle, I believe, is molded. Um, it's got a little lanyard hole, which I put a old shoe shoestring through, tied a knot, and then I melted it with a lighter so that it would hopefully not come loose. Um, I carry this knife with me now. I've started carrying it pretty much every day. I throw it in my coin pocket on my in my jeans, and I leave the um, shoestring lanyard hanging out of my coin pocket so I can pull the knife out easily. Um, this knife uses cases surgical stainless, I believe is what they call it. Um, I have no idea what kind of steel it is. It doesn't really matter. Um, it holds an edge reasonably well. You know, it's not fantastic. It's not be like 154 CM or S30V or whatever. You know, those higher um, quality steels or higher whatever they are, you know, the better steels, steels that have an edge that lasts longer. But this holds an edge reasonably well, and it is very easy to get sharp again, which is something I like about lesser quality steels, is that they are very easy to sharpen. Um, this knife is made by Case, which is here in Pennsylvania. I really like Case. Um, you know, I like their Sodbuster a lot. This knife itself, I think I got for like $13 off Amazon. Um, for the knife that you get, this little um, lockback knife with the plastic handles... I don't really think it's really all that worth it. Um, you know, I just bought it because I wanted to try it. But, you know, I wouldn't really recommend it at that price. I think that's a little pricey for what you get. Um, the knife itself does work. The lockup is good. You know, there's no up and down play. There's some side to side play because, you know, it's a tiny blade and it doesn't have any reinforcements in the plastic handle. Uh, it is very lightweight, obviously, because of how tiny it is and its construction. Uh, I like to carry this knife for instances where I need a less um, or a more more discreet looking knife. You know, I'm not pulling out my, right now I'm carrying my Ontario Rat 1, but I'm not pulling out this knife, this, this big knife that some could misconstrue as a weapon or as scary. I'm not pulling that out to do little little things like cut tape off boxes and I don't know if you want to cut an apple up or something. He yeah, has a good knife for that. Because it's not scary looking because of how small it is. You know, nobody's going to be really afraid of this knife. Whereas people who don't know any better could be afraid of that Ontario Rat 1 that I just pulled out. Um, but yeah, you know, it's a good knife for if you work in like an office or if you work... I mean, I work in a grocery store. You know, if I'm in the break room and I have to open something with a knife, pulling this out is a lot less is a lot less um, scary to some people than pulling out the big knife. So it's, it's a good thing to have. I carry this as a secondary knife to my main EDC knife, which is right now that Ontario Rat 1. You know, and I carry it for those low-key situations where I don't really want people to think that I have a weapon, you know, because people don't understand that a knife is not a weapon, a knife is a tool. But anyway, Case Mini Blackhorn... It's it's a nice knife. Uh, would I recommend it? Well, if you can find one for less than thirteen dollars, you know, I would definitely recommend it. I just think thirteen dollars is a little bit much for what you get with this knife. Now, you know, if you want to spend the thirteen dollars, like I said, I got it off Amazon. It is a nice knife. It's just not in my mind really worth the thirteen dollars. You can get a you can get a pretty nice knife for thirteen dollars, and you know, this is an all right knife, but I just I just don't think it's really worth the thirteen dollars.